everyone, I'm Miss Audrey at the Rockles Memorial Library and welcome to Make a Mess. Today I am going to show you how to make a coffee filter bat. And it's made out of a coffee filter and a clothespin and some googly eyes and some cardstock ears and paint. So there's a few things that you're going to need to make this guy. So if you signed up to get a grab and go bag with all the craft materials from the library, that bag should have th some things in it. It should have a coffee filter and a clothespin. It should have a little piece of cardboard. It should have a little container of glue and two more little containers, one with black paint and one with white paint. You should have some toothpicks. You should have some little bat ears. And you should have a couple of googly eyes. But there are a couple of other things that you're going to need too that we're hoping you have at home. You're going to need scissors. You're going to need black, blue, and purple washable markers. And you're going to need a paintbrush. I also have a little pipette here. This is for squirting some water onto my coffee filter. But you don't have to use a little dropper like this. You can just get your fingers wet and drop it with your fingers and that works just as well. So the first step, the first thing we need to make our little bat, let me get these things out of the way, the first thing we need is the coffee filter. First we're going to make the bat wings. They're going to be all different black and blue and purple colors. Now you see my bat that I made, he's still got a lot of white. I didn't put enough marker on him. So you want to make sure you use lots of marker. You're not going to use too much. And I suggest using a lot of black. So first I'm going to scribble, 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 scribble. I also put some newspaper down on my table because we're going to be painting and then it keeps the paint from getting on the table. Alright, I put some black on there. Next we're going to add some blue and some purple. Okay, I added some blue, and last I am going to add some purple. Add some around the edges. That's good. We've got blue and black and purple. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to use our little pipette or if you don't have something like this at home you can just use your fingers to drip the water. See I'm going to take the pipette, I'm going to fill it with water, then I'm going to drip some onto my coffee filter. I don't know if you can see that real well but the colors are starting to bleed all over the place. That's going to make it look like bat wings. So if you don't have a pipette, you can always drip the water with your finger. And you can drip water on that way too. And that works too. 
All right, I'm gonna drip some more water on. You wanna keep dripping water until the whole coffee filter is covered in water, but you don't want it to be too soaked, so don't just dump all the water on. You just wanna have just enough to cover the whole thing. I just got a couple of spots that need a little bit more. Okay, there we go. I had a little extra water there. And I put it back in the cup. All right. So now we're done with this for now. So we're going to set it aside to dry. And while it's drying, we are going to paint our clothespins. And this is going to be the bat's body. So the important thing about the bat when you're working on it is the face of your bat is gonna go on the side that opens up. So this side where it opens up here, that's where you're going to put the ears and the eyes and the mouth. But first, all we have to do is paint it black. Or if you have your own paint at home and you want your bat to be a different color, you can paint it whatever color you want. But I've got black paint here, so I'm going to squirt a little onto my paint palette. You can just squirt it onto your newspaper or onto a paper plate at home if you don't have a paint palette. I'm going to get my water. We're done using the water for anything else, so we can just use it for rinsing our paintbrush now. All right, I'm going to get my paintbrush wet, get some paint. Now I'm going to paint the whole clothespin all over on the inside and the outside, everywhere I can get my paintbrush, I'm going to add paint. And that's what this little, uh, little piece of cardboard is for too. That way you can hold the cardboard instead of the clothespin and you don't get paint all over your fingers. But when I made my first bat, I still got paint on my fingers anyway. That's why we call it make a mess, because painting is messy. Okay, once you've got your whole clothespin all painted, you're gonna rinse your paintbrush. And next, we are going to add the googly eyes. So I'm gonna set this down on my, on my newspaper so it doesn't get the table all paint covered. And I'm going to open up my glue. I'm gonna take one of my toothpicks and I'm gonna take my googly eyes and we're going to glue, we're gonna get a little glue on the end of a toothpick and put it on the back of the googly, googly eye. The googly eye. All right, got it all covered with glue. Don't drop it. I almost dropped it. It stuck to my finger because it's got glue on it. And so even though the paint's not dry, it's okay to glue your googly eyes on already. So I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, I gotta remember, the face goes on the end that opens up, so. We're going to stick our googly eye right there. Now I'm going to get my next googly eye. I got some glue on it. All right, so now I've got the eyes on my bat. And the googly eyes are two different sizes. That way, he's kind of a goofy bat. Or she. Your bat can be a boy or a girl or whatever you want. For the next step, we're going to add the mouth. For that, you're also going to want to use a toothpick. You're also going to need your white paint. 
But before you do that, you want to make sure that the black paint is dry. Otherwise, the white paint and the black paint will mix together and you won't be able to see the bat's mouth very well. Instead of being white, it'll turn gray. That's the color you get when you mix white and black together. So I'm going to blow on it and see if I can get it to dry a little faster. Okay, once the paint is dry, at least in this area right below your bat's eyes, then you'll be ready for the next step. It doesn't have to be dry everywhere. If the paint in the cracks is still wet, that's okay. We're just going to make sure that we don't touch that paint while we're painting the mouth on. So the next thing that we're going to need is our white paint. We only need a little bit of white paint. We need a toothpick because we're going to draw the mouth on like we're using a pencil. I'm going to get a little white paint. You're going to start off by giving your bat a little smile. Our bats are happy because it's almost Halloween. So can you get a smile on there? All right, once you've got your smile, we'll get a little bit more paint and we're just going to put two little fangs on there. All right, now your bat is smiling and happy and he's got his little bat fangs. Now we're going to have to wait a little longer until the paint is completely dry before we take it off of the cardboard and glue the ears on. So let's take a little break and we'll come back when it's all dry. Okay, once your bat is dry, then you can glue the ears on. So I'm going to set them down. I'm going to get my little bat ears and I'm going to get some more glue. Oh, I put my glue away. I gotta open it up again. Open up my glue. And I'm just gonna use my little toothpick and put some glue onto the bat ears. I'm gonna hold on to these. I'm gonna open up my clothespin. And I'm gonna stick the little bat ears right inside where it pinches. So you're not going to want to open it up again until the glue dries, otherwise the ears might fall out. So now, now that we've got our bat and the little face and the ears and everything all done, now we're going to go back and work on the wings some more. So we should go back to our coffee filter and it should be pretty dry by now. It doesn't have to be completely dry to do this next step. So for the next step, we're going to fold it into four quarters. So we're going to fold it once in half so that it looks like this. And then we're going to fold it in half one more time so that it looks like this. So you should have one quarter of your circle. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut some little curves into this to add the scalloped edge for the bat wings. So this is what you're going to need your scissors for. These are my scissors. We have some kind of scary looking scissors here at the library, don't we? So I'm going to start in the corner and I'm going to cut a little curve just like this. So there's the one, there's one scallop. So what comes out should be a shape that looks kind of like an eyeball. And so you don't need that part. You can get rid of that. Now I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna cut three. So now I'm gonna do a second one. I think it is a little easier to cut if you do wait until it's completely dry.
Okay, there we go. Now I've got my edge cut, so now we're going to unfold it just once so that it looks like this. And then from the bottom here, we should have a little point, and we're going to cut up about that far. We're going to cut up about three inches, not all the way across, just we're just going to make a little slit in it. check on my bat. I'm going to see if I'm going to see if the glue's dried on those ears yet. Yes, the glue is dry. I can open it up and they don't come off. Perfect. And that means that our bat is all ready. So now we're going to take it. We're going to open up the bat. We're going to stick that little slit down there. This And there we go. There's your Halloween bat. So that's how you make a Halloween bat. Thank you guys for watching the video. And remember, we're going to be doing another craft next month for Make a Mess. So don't forget to call the library and sign up for the next one. Bye bye.